Hey guys, so we're about to do a hair tutorial on my hair. So if you want to see how we got this beautiful hair, stay tuned. Hi! Hey guys, so we're about to do my hair. Duh. We're going to do the balayage, also known as like the hair painting. Um, highlights. Highlights, sort of. Sort of ombre, not really. But yeah. a lot more blonde towards the bottom. Yeah, so... Okay, we're about to do that and we'll show you guys the whole process. So, so these are the products that we use first. We use the Redken. Redken Flash Lift. And what do you think we use? How much of this? I use two full scoops of yes. the Redken Flash Lift. I actually use I use a different scooper, so it would probably be about three of the three full scoops of the scooper that comes inside the flash lift. And then we mixed it with the 40 volume cream developer. And then we also used the Olaplex we used one. The, we used a fourth of an ounce instead of an eighth of an ounce um, because we had to use a lot of lightener for Miss Heather's hair right. here. <laughs> and you want to use a level up of the developer. So we want to get a 30 volume out of it, so we use 40 volume. We mix that up, and then we put it on and ball it, and you'll see how she done that. After we washed out the lightener. Then we use a toner. We use these Wella toners. How much of each do you think? I ended up using, I think, 25 of the T11 and 15 of the T18. This is the, the T11 is a, the lightest beige blonde and a T18 is the lightest ash blonde, but we use a little bit more of the beige, is that right? Yes. Than the ash, but to tone out some of the brass in. And we mix it with the 30 volume with that. I wanted to lift up my root area a little bit, like to help blend it in. Just makes it a little bit more creamy and pulls it all together. Yes. Then you put the Olaplex number two after that. But it is not the last thing you do. Yes. <laughs> And then after this, you shampoo and conditioner. And then I'm going to take this home with me. Just the part three to the Olaplex that I'll use once a week on my hair for a good, like a deep conditioner kind of thing. And so that's what we use for our hair tutorial here. So now we'll get to the hair part and how everything works. This is Heather's hair beforehand. We can all see that it's like a little bit darker towards the bottom from where her like underneath layer is not quite as blonde because it doesn't get quite as much sun and whatnot. So we want to try and get that really blonde. Still pretty white light blonde. Yeah. Okay guys. So first we want to part her hair so that we don't have any hair from the front coming into the back pieces. So what I did over here is I just kind of parted right at her ears and I did the same thing on the other side. And you always want to have your client part their hair how they normally wear it when they have it styled. That way your color is going to be, is going to fall a little bit better according to where they normally or how they normally wear their hair. So then I'm going to take up the first section. I'm probably going to take about an inch because we don't want I don't like to do the very, very bottom in balayage. So I'm just going to take about an inch, but Heather has a whole lot of hair, so it's kind of hard for me. I'm going to take about an inch from the bottom and then I'm going to pull this up in a clip. Just have it set up there, but her hair is like super heavy. So I need like a heavy duty clip. And so for the first, for the bottom layer, I just pick up kind of like a chunk right here in the middle. But I, I cut it in half, so I leave just a little bit underneath here. And then I comb through it. You want to make sure you don't have any like stray hair sticking out or going all wire or anything because that'll really mess with your color. Normally, if you just have, if your client just kind of wants like an ombre look, you'll kind of start down towards the middle right here. But since Heather wants hers to come all the way up, we'll bring hers almost all the way to her scalp because you don't want to get it right on the scalp because sometimes that'll give you like a, a little bit of a line and you don't want that because balayage is sort of so you don't have that so you just kind of paint it down the edges like this and you have to be kind of soft with your brush because it's the hair painting you don't want it to you don't want to saturate it like you do like with uh, foils and stuff so when you get towards the bottom, you just kind of bring it in towards the middle right here, kind of cross it over almost into like a little X. 
and it all comes down into like a little V that crosses over the bottom. And you wanna leave enough just so the bottom, all of the bottom is gonna be completely saturated between the two pieces. And you like to, you wanna make sure that the bottom is a little bit more saturated than the top because it's not going to be inside the plastic wrap. So it's gonna try and dry faster. So it needs to be just a little bit more wet than the top of the hair. And I like to kind of keep just like an old towel to wipe my glove off so that I don't get lightener on the rest of the hair or anything else I'm using in between when I'm doing each step. So then you just break off a piece of plastic wrap. This is actually not my favorite. This kind kind of stinks, but it's all I have right now. I normally use the regular Saran Wrap brand because it's tears the easiest and it doesn't get all sticky like this. Um, then I, what I do is I just take the plastic wrap and I just lay it over those pieces and I'm just gonna touch it to the, to the lightener so that it will stick. So then you wanna take down your next section, except this one's gonna be about a half inch instead of a whole inch because you don't want to get too big. Yep. Like, Who's that in the for six minutes and 50 seconds. Okay. Well, they'll have to watch the day with why they want it. So then for the next section, since we did the two pieces in the middle, we don't really want to overlap that same color that we just did. We want to have it kind of bouncing around in a couple different places. So then you just take maybe about an inch and a half to two inch section on, on either side of the back and do the same thing as before where you just kind of bring it down each side and then down <laughs> and then down to that V at the middle. Claire is open here. Giggling. She's like, nobody knows I'm here. They're gonna know now. layer like I said the kind of half inch part all the way around sometimes it doesn't end up as clean as you would like <laughs> so then since we did the two side pieces you want to go back to the middle where we kind of did the same thing on the the first layer so it's sort of like a brick pattern, but not really. <laughs> and this is about probably two and a half to three inch part right here. And you just do the same thing as before. Down into the V. And then cross them at the bottom. part is important because this is a part that's going to fall down that everybody is going to see. This stuff is important too, but you're going to be able to see every minor detail in the very top layer. So you have to be really precise, really careful. Pull it straight out. And then what I do is for the top, I do probably about three or four sections and then I do like about a half inch over. I do another line really, really softly. You don't want to put your brush too hard because they're going straight through. And then I'll do one more. And then I'll do one more end piece. But this is all still going to come down into the, 
into the V. I don't know if you guys can see that. There, there's one, two, three, four areas where I have it painted on. So you just wanna kinda of pull that down a little bit. And then you just wanna to start to bring it in. And I like to bring it up a little bit higher on the top layer so you can see the blonde a little bit more. And then just kind of feather those middle pieces up a little bit. And then just pull it through the ends. Just like that. Plastic wrap. And as long as it's covering the about the top half, you're all right. Because your ends are really wet and saturated, so you don't have to worry about them drying and normally they end up not really affecting the rest of the hair and so then what I like to do is I like to go to the, to the side that they keep their hair parted on because that's where you have the most hair so I just kind of like to start here first because there's just so little hair on the other side and uh, this is gonna have to kind of sit a little bit longer probably about an inch maybe a little bit more because you have all these normally have all these like little funky baby hairs around their ears so I take it until you can tell they got some real same like length and thickness right here where you can get a good chunk of hair. Just the same thing as the as we did in the back. where we want most of our blonde so you always want to make sure that every single piece has this you want that piece the blonde to come all the way through all the way from up here all the way down on every single layer <laughs> Focus is not focusing. There we go. Okay, so we have had it on for you said about 20 minutes, right? So. About 20 minutes, and I think we're gonna leave it just a little bit longer. I mean, we would probably be okay to go ahead and take it off, but I'm gonna try and leave it just a little bit longer because we're trying to get Heather really, really pretty blonde. Still looks a little yellow right here. And that's probably okay because we're probably going to tone it, but I want to try and get as much of that out with the lightener as I can. So we're going to leave it just a little bit longer and then no. wash it out here shortly. And then we're once we wash it out, we're going to tone it with probably like an ashy, sandy, blonde, blondish toner, yep. which will probably lift up her roots just a little bit, enough to kind of pull this all together. Um, so... Can't wait. Okay guys, so I know Heather's hair looks a little crazy right now. It looks a little purple and <laughs> got some gold going on in there. But we just put her toner on and her roots are starting to lift a little bit, which is what we're trying to do. We want them to lift up just a little bit to kind of bring all that stuff together. But we don't want to lift them up too much because we still want a little bit of that rooty look. So we're going to leave this on for a few more minutes. You can see her ends are coming up. They're not really that gold anymore. Leave this on for a few more minutes and... I'll check back in. Okay, guys, this is the end of our product here. Our finished product on Miss Heather's product. hair. And it's beautiful, blonde, and curly. Curly. Y'all probably don't see that a whole lot. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I need to go home and do a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> so. And I know I don't look very uh, professional today. I'm in my tie-dye and my blue jeans. <laughs> Normally we're off on Sundays, yeah. <laughs> so we came in and played for a little while today. Yes, just our lounge around day and finally got my hair done. So, found time to. It looks fabulous. Busy. Yeah, thanks, Chad. Okay, so if you want to stay tuned for more videos, like 
and share and comment and subscribe to our channel. We'll do a lot more hair videos now. Hopefully we can get to some more like hair tutorials and stuff. Maybe we'll do her hair next time. So, Okay, we'll see you guys next time.